Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. The glow of a flame is complex. Black body radiation is emitted from soot, gas, and fuel particles. Though the soot particles are too small to behave like perfect black bodies. There is also photon emission by de-excited atoms and molecules in the gases. Much of the radiation is emitted in the visible and infrared bands. The color depends on the temperature for black body radiation and on chemical makeup for the emission spectra. The dominant color in a flame changes with temperature. A photo of the forest fire in Canada is an excellent example of this variation. Near the ground, where most burning is occurring, the fire is white, the hottest color possible for organic material in general, or yellow. Above the yellow region, the color changes to orange, which is cooler, then red, which is cooler still. Above the red region, combustion no longer occurs, and the uncombusted carbon particles are visible as black smoke. The common distribution of a flame under normal gravity conditions depends on convection, as soot tends to rise to the top of a general flame, as in a candle in normal gravity conditions, making it yellow. In microgravity, or zero gravity, such as an environment in outer space, convection no longer occurs, and the flame becomes spherical, with a tendency to become more blue and more efficient, although it may go out if not moved steadily, as the CO2 from combustion does not disperse as readily in microgravity and tends to smother the flame. There are several possible explanations for this difference, of which the most likely is that the temperature is sufficiently evenly distributed that soot is not formed and complete combustion occurs. Experiments by NASA reveal the diffusion flames in microgravity allow more soot to be completely oxidized after they are produced than diffusion flames on Earth because of a series of mechanisms that behave differently in microgravity when compared to normal gravity conditions. These discoveries have potential applications in applied science and industry, especially concerning fuel efficiency.